folks, Steinort here. Another Stein story for you. This one goes back a ways. Um, <laughs> back a ways. Yeah, it goes back about 40 years. This story, I guess I'm going to call it, um, I found a bird daddy. Now, this story is about a little trip that my ex-wife and I and our first son, my oldest boy, he was only about two years old at the time. He was the only child at the time. And we decided to take a little trip to western Minnesota. Um, there was a state park that we wanted to go check out and do some hiking. It had a lot of hiking trails. And we thought, yeah, let's do that. And we had a, like a stroller for the boy that had these really tall tires, really tall tires on it. And it was kind of narrow wheelbase. So we thought, well, we'll be able to push that stroller on those trails. And I said, if we can't, you know, I'll empty out my backpack and we'll drop the kid in the back of the backpack and I'll carry him that way. That's before they had those fancy backpacks for kids, you know. Well, we got to the park and we did a bunch of hike, hiking. Now this park had an area that had a lot of, um, a lot of sand. There's a lot of sand and a lot of pine forests in that park. When we got back out to our car, now we were really young, you know, we were basically young kids at the time, children with children, you know, um, and our car wasn't much to speak of. <laughs> and we're just kind of hanging out around the car and talking about our day. And, and the little guy, he's wandering around. Now, hopefully that this video will, people will take it to heart when you have your children out in the outdoors with you. Um, how you need to be constantly aware of what your children are up to and what they're doing. Well, so we're hanging out by the car and the little guy, he's wandering around. And all of a sudden I look over and the little guy, there's, it's just like prairie where we're at, where the car was parked. It's just like prairie, a lot of tall prairie grass and, and open flat areas. And there's a bush. It's a pretty good sized bush. It's not very tall. It's maybe 18 inches tall, but it's probably about six foot around this bush. And the boy is standing over there and he's kind of into that bush and he's pointing in the bush. And so, so there he is standing there pointing in that bush. And I go, what are you up to over there? And he goes, I found a bird, daddy. And I said, you did? And he says, yeah, but it won't come out of the bush. I want to catch that bird. And I said, don't you try to catch that bird. So the ex-wife and I walk over to him to see what he's got in that bush. I thought, well, he's probably got a little quail or a grouse that's hanging out in that bush that just doesn't want to move. And he must not seem a, much of a threat to him. And I figured I'll get over there and it'll fly off. We get over to the bush and I told him, step away from there now, come on. And I got him out of that bush, got him away from the bush. And um, I went over to the bush and was looking and he goes, if you listen, you'll hear that bird in there. He's making a funny clucking kind of sound. So I'm over there looking around in that bush and I got a stick and I'm poking around in that bush and no birds coming out of there. And then all of a sudden I heard the sound that the kid had heard. Now I'm going to fade out and I'm going to show you a still photo of me holding what I found in that bush. And then I'll come back and do a little more explanation. So here's the still photo of a sty that you won't even recognize. I Mind you, I was... 
20 years old at the time. Um, so that's a style you probably won't recognize. Um, holding what I found in that bush. So here it is. Okay, now that you saw it, guess what? Yes, it was a timber rattler. Timber rattlers are very venomous. They will do a number on you if they bite you. You, an infant, or, or I should say a toddler, a year and a half, two year old, doesn't have much of a chance that they get bit by a timber rattler. You only have minutes to get to a hospital with that kid. Our boy was no more than a foot, foot and a half away from that snake. Now that snake wasn't, we, I found out later from the DNR that that snake wasn't even truly a fully mature timber rattler. They said, he was about two-thirds of the size of a common t timber rattler for that area. But they said he was fully mature and very venomous and could, could have and most likely would have killed our child if it would have bit him. So I found a bird daddy turned out to being, being I almost got killed daddy. So all I can stress folks is kids, I don't care how old they are, can be very observant. They'll see things or hear things that you don't notice. And they're just automatically attracted to them because of their curiosity. The old saying, curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, that is a very true saying. We could have been in a really bad situation that day if we weren't paying attention to what our boy was up to. Even though he was right there, even though he was right in our line of sight, he wasn't out of our sight, and it looked like a totally harmless activity he was up to playing in a bush. No, it wasn't that safe. So I am very glad that I asked him what he was up to and he said, I found a bird, Daddy. So when you're out there and you've got children along, pay close attention. Those little folks and little kids get out there and curiosity can get them in a real fix. So you got to keep your wits to you and stay on top of things when you're out there with the little guys. So there you go. There's another sty story for you. Kind of an exciting, it was pretty exciting that day. We took that old snake, I took that snake, threw it in the trunk of my car and I was gonna go to the nearest DNR office. Um, the ex-wife snapped a pic that picture of me holding that snake on the stick. Um, and then we, I pitched it in the trunk of the car and she was nervous because that old rusty car, she thought that snake could get inside with us. And I said, ah, it's never gonna get inside the car with us. I said, and I, I don't wanna kill it. And then we didn't have to, a bag to put it in. I said, but I wanna take it to the DNR office and make sure to identify the snake, you know. I said, I don't think I really need an identification because no other snake except a rattlesnake has a rattle. And that's what the boy was hearing was that rattle. And that was his clucking sound that he thought he was hearing. Well, I got the DNR office open the trunk and we searched that whole trunk and we couldn't find the snake. It had fallen out someplace through one of the rust holes in the trunk of our car. So it's it was off on the road somewhere. Um, but talking with the DNR and then later when I got the picture developed, they said it was hard to see exactly in the picture but they were confident that what we had on, what we had come across was a timber, a timber rattler um, because they weren't 
terribly common, they, they were common enough that they were found in that, in that state park, that, that it was not that terribly uncommon um, that, that once in a while people would come across them. So I'm glad you watched. Glad you learned something from it. I hope you learned something from it. Keep an eye on those little guys because curiosity, oh, could get them in trouble. So there you go. This is Stein North saying, you all have a nice day. Bye-bye.